I know it is on because of the flashes. The flashes. It's called blink blink. Hello again. We're back for more first person baking. I'm wearing the camera this, this time. This is the third week. Yes. Numero tres. Numero tres. Third week. Day 51 of Animal Crossing has happened. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that gives you a rough ballpark when this is done. Um, today we're doing blueberry muffins. Which should be a lot of fun. Little... Um, blueberries. Let us get on with it, shall we? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, let's move into the kitchen. So, and so we are following a recipe today from uh, BBC Good Food, which uh, is by Paul Hollywood, apparently. Yes, Mr. Blue Eyes himself. Oh, oh, mm, bake me some bread, mister. Right, um, so this is 30 minutes to an hour preparation time, 10 minutes to 30 minutes cooking time. That is completely wrong wrong it's actually 20 minutes it actually states 20 minutes or until golden on top well if you set it to that temperature i assume it's going to be 20 minutes yeah you, you, so you assume. so yeah so we we have a fan oven so we've set it to 180 degrees c uh which is pre pre warming up we've got the uh ingredients over here yes so so, so we pre read pre them off jam read out. them off so we have got Plain flour, 110 grams, 110 grams of butter, 65 grams of sugar, two fralange eggs, which are, where are the eggs? I've been bamboozled! Try the fridge! No, that is garlic. You want Pure to change egg. your feet. You want some eggs to change your feet. We need eggs. These are large eggs. You've now changed your feet. We have got eggs. You've changed your feet. Eggs. Uh, baking powder. We use one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Uh, and then 125 grams of blueberries. Blueberries. Which is what makes this muffin a blueberry muffin. And a, we have a pinch of freshly grated nutmeg, but we're using pre-ground nutmeg because we are amateurs. Yeah, something tells me that just, I mean, that's a lot of meg. That's a lot of nutmeg. Mm. But how many nutmeg goes into that? Is that multiple nutmegs? Yes. Is that nutmegs or is that many nutmeg? I believe in that sense it would be plural, but I feel like when talking about... Is it like geese and goose? Goose and geese. Is it not meek? Well, did you know, <laughs> Graham, did you know, Graham, that that plant gives two different things? It gives nutmeg and it gives mace. Oh, it's so spicy in my mouth and my eyes. Not that I've had yeah. mace ever. <laughs> it would be, uh, right, well, we're going to start, I think. Am I doing the creaming today? I mean, I think <laughs> I, I can cream. You I can, can cream, cream with the best of them. Right, well, I'm washing my hands. I will, so I believe we start the recipe play with, um, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> the problem is at the moment, they can't see your face. They can, because they can see it through there. They can see it in the reflection. I'm just... Um, so we start with step one, is cream the butter and sugar together, then slowly no. add the No, no, no. Taste. Step one is washing thy hands. What you do is you get a nice bit of lather on. Well, I'm just saying to the to the viewees, the beautiful viewees. I know you're doing the viewees. I know the, you're doing the viewees. Basically, this is the same step as the cookies that we made last week. We cream the butter and sugar together. So the, but the butter should be soft, so leave it out of the fridge and keep it in the fridge. Bring it out into the real world. Let it warm up like we should warm our souls to each other. What? <laughs> I'm just saying there's too much hate. Listen, first of all, this might as well be a PSA about how to wash your hands during this troublesome well, you time. you just did it the wrong way. You didn't do it for 20 seconds. You didn't do it like a surgeon. All of the germs are on your hands. I did it. We're going to get the virus. I did it with plenty enough vigour and vigorous oh, no, and recovery. Oh no, you got demonetised. 
Boy, I'm going to slap you so yes, hard upside saying, the right. head with blueberries. You're going to think you're in Willy Wonka's factory. Anyway, let's cream. Cream. You need flour, sir. I need, sir. got a bowl. Spoon. That'll do. Flour me, flour boy. <laughs> yes. So we've got that in the bowl now. Right. Do you want me to cut up the butter into little chunks? Hey, you can cut the butter up into yeah, little chunks. Yeah, I think that will make it easier for you to cream. The reason we're doing that is because it makes it easier to apply Precious softening, egg. creaming force. That is a baking term. Phrasing is something we're working on. Being good at baking is another thing that we're working on. Oh, I thought we were really good. But... Yeah, that's why we do first person baking. And, ah, Graham, spoon, spoon. I'll spoon you. Spoon me and then cream. James, <laughs> phrasing. Just, just that, that side, that side, just this side, visible side. No, <laughs> you're now just celebrating the butter's achievements. What do you want from me? <laughs> I can't apply the force that you want. Apply <laughs> the force. Just hold the spoon. <laughs> I'm trying really hard. I'm trying not to get butter on my hands, but I think we're past that point now. I'm sorry, I was trying to butt you Start up. Start creaming. <laughs> Oh, you're good for. Wait, are we meant to be creaming the flour with the butter or is it the sugar? I think it might have been the sugar. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even read. <laughs> butter and sugar. Oh yeah, and get cream the butter. Add, then you add the flour. <laughs> <laughs> For fuck's sake, James! <laughs> this is well, sir! <laughs> Mrs. is well, sir! No, we did this stupid! Why? Why is it you? Why is it you? You know you cream the salt, <laughs> the sugar, and the butter. You know you do it. You did it wrong. <laughs> Mrs. Wilson! Mrs. Wilson! <laughs> Mrs. Wilson! <laughs> oh, she's on a call. She's on a call. I can't. We can't salvage this, James. <laughs> I think what we've got to do, we've got to mix it all together. Give me the, give me the sugar. Give we, me the sugar. The sugar. Give me sugar. We're going to salvage it. Give me the rest of the butter as well. This is how you make up for your brother's mistakes. <laughs> He applied the flour uh, with flour the butter first. Of the sugar, so now we can't cream the sugar with the butter. Well, you can. You just have to spend ages like, doing it. Yeah. That is a bit silly. So, well, 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 in two white substances, normally it's both cocaine. So I'm just like, <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. But what you could do. Uh... Don't be ashamed of who you are, mother. What? <laughs> Everything the light touches ain't here. You just, you just sold yourself out. Right. <laughs> Evidently, I just thought flour was sugar. Yeah, well. Um, I Cream think it. we just need to keep going. It's going on, <laughs> oh, just cream it, Mr. <laughs> flour, it's clearly sugar. Uh, to be fair, cock when I more. gave you the flour, you didn't say it wasn't until you can started I, can mixing. I, can I suggest something? Yeah. Rather than putting all the rest of that in then, why don't you stick that bit in the microwave and let it walk? No. Bit, so, yeah. I want Graham to work for his muffin. <laughs> I, I weighed everything out. We were going to try and make this a short video. We were going to save so much time. <laughs> Dug out the flour from the <laughs> this is your fault, We could have got the flour from the sugar. What? Then you mean the butter from the the flour, and then we could have separated the flour, and then we could have added the sugar. Instead, I now have to do all the work. We made our choices, and we now. No, you made your choice, and now I. You lump... didn't say that's flour jam. What are you doing with- You were the one with the recipe. You were the one holding the recipe. You're the one that's supposed to be creaming and I don't see no creaming, boy. 
wrapped something creamed. Do you want me to do some creaming? I want it to be noted how upset I am with you. <laughs> Every day. Since 1995. Since 1995, you've been nothing but a constant creamy disappointment. I need to know that, you creamy disappointment. Good. Get to the bean. Fine, Co. So, if you have not followed what we've done, you should have put the flour in after you creamed everything. There is an alternative, you could rub it. I could rub it. James, hold my spoon. What are we doing? We're rubbing it in, so through the fingers, so actually... Because otherwise we're going to be here for ages. We do what we do with our first ones. We do what we do with the lemon bars. You rub through the fingers. You crumb it. You crumb it. Cool. Because you have... You have brought this up. <laughs> you would just like, I don't want to get butter this on my is, hand. This is not first person baking, this is first person failing. This is first person. I'm here point. with a spoon, just like a wizard. Boil and toil and trouble. <laughs> you disappoint me, you. Cream faster! <laughs> Stop hitting Cream my fast. hand! I'll put the spoon over here. I mean, yeah. Don't do this. Don't so do guys, what we're doing. Just to be clear, the first step is supposed to be butter and sugar, which you then mix together like our previous video where we actually managed to do that correctly. Then you add the eggs, mix for three minutes, add the flour, then baking powder, then nutmeg, and then you stir it all together. Then you have to refrigerate it for at least an hour, preferably overnight. No one mentioned this to me. I don't think there's any space in the fridge. <laughs> Why do you need to fridge it? It says refrigerate for at least an hour, preferably overnight. But why? I don't know why. So we're going to not do that and see what happens. If it doesn't taste good, it doesn't taste good. But I feel like none of the ingredients need to... Be. I think it's because you're making a sort of dough and it's trying to prove the dough. Of course it's a dough, it's poor Hollywood. But do... But normally you prove things in a, in a heated way, not... or like a... like not in a chilled way. You normally like leave it in a proving drawer or whatever. I don't think it's meant to be like a dough. So I think we're gonna skip that. Let's see what happens. But we'll give you the full recipe. There'll be obviously, as always, there'll be a link to the recipe, but you can decide what you want to do. We're not looking for a crumb, we're looking to cream, and that is creamed. Yes, okay. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to, because we've already added the sugar and the flour, we're going to add the uh, eggs and mix that for three minutes. And then we're gonna add the last few bits, which is the baking powder and nutmeg. I can't believe. Good job, Han. I can't believe. So we need two eggs. Two eggs, two, two eggs. But they must be free range. I don't know why. This is greatly disappointing. These eggs are really, really cold. Are you struggling there, huh? The egg is rolling away. Oh, the egg's rolling away, is it? Mm -hmm. I measured out everything out. I measured everything out perfectly. I can't believe it's still on this. Fine. I can't read. It's fine. I measured everything out. This was going to be a fine video. Not only that, is we both didn't read the recipe beforehand to find out that, you know, we needed to... Refrigerate it. Refrigerate it. See, this is actually what we really, the problem really is, is Mrs. Wilson gave us a recipe that had to be proved overnight and no one told us. Us, the YouTube sensation. 
I mean, I will say but one thing. I will say but one thing. It also said to slowly add the eggs. You just added them in. No, it didn't. It does. It says to slowly add the eggs. It says add the eggs. It says to slowly add the eggs. It says slowly add the eggs. Shit. <laughs> I mean, at this point, at this point. Where's the spoon? At this point, are we even doing the recipe? <laughs> Hey, let me. No, no, you've already ruined enough. How are you supposed to slowly add eggs when they come from a shell? A fair point. I'll you, give you, you that. Like, like, at what velocity? He doesn't describe the velocity Gravity that is... that egg has to enter the bowel. And surely, if you're mixing it, it doesn't matter. He he says you have to mix for exactly three minutes, but he doesn't describe the velocity of the mixing process. There is crucial crucial missteps in this. Also, us not being able to read. Really. I mean, you didn't read because I just told you a point of the recipe that I read like five minutes ago. Can I have a mix? Can really? you have a mix? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. The question, the question is, this is quite a wet mixture. Maybe that's why um, maybe that's why he puts it in the fridge to make it a solid mixture that you can then put the blueberries in. Because you add the blueberries on top. Look at him, folding technique four. I'm trying real hard. I don't even know if I'm capturing it on camera. Can, 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 I, can I have a go? And then you can stare at it. You can stare at it better, Graham. His whole, like, your immediate reaction is to hold it away from the camera. <laughs> I mean... It's where you'd want it to be, which means we've sort of made up for Every misstep. <laughs> yeah, every misstep. I'm glad I didn't even have to finish. You knew what I was going to say. No one said to me about anything. Like I mentioned this today on stream. I said we're doing this, and everyone was just like, "No, you just whip it up, boom, in the in the um, in the the oven, and, you, and you're good." So. Uh, you can prov you can follow these steps if you wish. Um, I'm an idiot, and I'm going to do what James tells me to do, despite the fact he can't read. Um, so after this, we're going to place a spoonful of. Oh wait, we need to add the nutmeg and baking flour. Baking powder. Baking powder. Pinch of nutmeg. You add the pinch of nutmeg. I'm gonna add, I'm gonna it's add. one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. There you go. I did two pinches. I this, this, this powder. At this point, we're just going balls to the wall. At this point, I think we've given up. I'd say the mixture, though, looks fine. How does one enter? How does one enter? How does one enter the baking well, powder world? You sort of twist and pull up. But you're you're still holding it. There we go. That's what you want. So it's a teaspoon. Does that level? It says one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. So I would do one heaped, which is almost what you have there. Yeah, I'd say that. Done. You don't want to overdo yeah, it. Yeah, because that's one and a half. There you go. We are a terrible we're house. A great team, house. but we're a terrible team. I mean, we saved it, maybe. Maybe, don't know. How much of the mixture does it say to spoon? Just say, again, it just says a spoonful of muffin mixture. How much is a spoon? Paul Hollywood! 
You are not giving the velocity of the stirring. You are not giving the information we need when we ask what size spoon we need. I suppose the question is how many is it supposed to make? It makes eight muffins. Are we using muffin tin or muffin cases? The look on Graham's face is, uh, I don't know the answer to this question. Mrs. Wilson. She's in a call. Just go and nudge her and be like, are we using muffin cases? I don't think we have, I think we've got cupcake cases. I think they're cup. Muffin cases. Muffin cases, fine. We're gonna use these. We're gonna put out eight and we're gonna evenly divide this mixture up until the mixture is equal amongst all of these. These are cases. You're my partner in crime. Partner in rhyme. But do we, should we put that in a muffin tray? Is there such thing as a muffin tray? Do you know the muffin man? Do you know the muffin man? Right, well there should be in here Half and half. Ah. So we can put in one like that, and another one like this one. There we go. I think they'll fit. We don't butter the cases, do we? No, because the cases. Why would you butter the cases? Easy slippage. Off the case. Yeah. Mm, so it can be. Removed slip. I'm, I'm happy with the mixture though. The mixture looks like what I would consider a mix of things. So a mixture then? Scientific definition of a mixture is something that can be uh, filtered. Actually, that's not... I suppose that is still a mixture. But I don't know how you would separate those out again. Because surely that's now a compound. Graham. Is that not a compound compound now? I mean if you'd let me help, I can help because I have two hands available to me. I have two hands. Let me help you. I have two hands. Yeah, but you're holding one of the thing is the in the in the kisses. There we go. And I think this has got two. I like the way that we stream video games and we are prolific nerds, but the one thing we do on YouTube is baking. Are we, am I just throwing this extra one away? No, you can slap it in. Yeah, no waste. And by the way, again, the recipe doesn't tell you how many blueberries. It says around eight. So you could put nine or you could put seven, but you can't put eight. Well, whatever we're gonna do, it will always be a failure the, the, because the you can't read. The oven was so shocked it <laughs> lost temperature. It was like, oh, here's some extra burn. Right, so. We're gonna make, put out the mixture that we have into eight individual. Let's read it just to be sure. You creamed the butter and the sugar together. Well, we did something different, didn't we, Dan? But it was fun. We tried something new and it still worked. We realized, we, we what, did. what did we realize today? We realized, children, Jam actually, we read. don't know this, like, I should point out that this video is not for children. Um, we learned something today, which is I'm that when you today. make a mistake, you can, you can do things to fix and you can move it. on. So we've creamed the butter and the sugar together and slowly added the eggs. All three of these actions have not been done. <laughs> we didn't even mix it for three minutes. <laughs> no. Uh, Add the flour. We added the flour, the baking powder, the nutmeg, stir to combine them, refrigerate for at least an hour, preferably overnight. We're not We're doing that. We're not doing that. Screw that. Replacing a spoonful of the muffin mixture muffin in each muffin now. case, filling it just over halfway. Then stud each muffin with about eight blueberries. Okay, blueberries. you stud, which I means you just gently Pop it place in. and yeah. You want it so it's in the mixture. 
not just resting on top. So, so if I do four and you are do you four, gonna use this spoon? I think that's because that saves on washing up, which we're a very big proponent of. Proponent? 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 What's the opposite of opponent? Of opponent? Yeah. Teammate. And I think you you should use your finger. It'd be more accurate. Seriously, use your finger. I will hold this. I will be your dough man. Oh, you're a dough boy. Now, so we, let's get back to this. Is this a compound now or is it still a mixture? Because how would you filter out these into the individual components again? That's what a mixture means in chemistry, right? And I'm pretty sure that's not half full. That's a pretty fucking full muffin. <laughs> that, that we're going to have to divide up. Fuck off. Right, come on. <laughs> come on. Take my dough. Yeah, that seems about right. Let's go with that sort of amount. And then uh, when we realize we fucked up, we'll correct it from there. Hey, 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 Mr. Dough Man. Do you like my muffins? <laughs> the question is, we need to find, like, how come, why? What is with the chilled? Why does it need to be chilled? Probably to make it, like you said, a bit firmer. And in order to stop. Oh, when I get a muffin, I get proper firm. <laughs> in order to make sure it is. I can't trust you for five minutes. <laughs> I'm just having one of those days. Yes, you are. How can... I gave you the sugar, you didn't complain. No, you gave me the flour. <laughs> you know what I mean? I want it in my brain. I wanted to give you sugar. I'm a dough man. Yeah, I think you're going to have to take a little bit from that one. Yeah, we will. I can't believe it. you're not even trusting me with holding the bowl. You're like half stabilizing the bowl. Trust has been lost this day. And Graham will remember that. I'm just slowly judging your spooning technique. Your inability to safeguard. Master White. To safeguard <laughs> the muffin. probably want that bit off the side there as well. Waste not, want not, and we want lots. Yeah. Let's spin it around so I can go through the other, other side like that. Oh, look at that technique. So one minute you're complaining about my technique, next minute you're praising it. Make up your goddamn mind. Teaspoon? Teaspoon. Which one looks to have the least? Probably this corner one. That one okay? This is so that one. Maybe that one a little bit. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some from this one. That, that's still going to be a big boy. Oh my. <laughs> like that, yeah? Uh, I think if you can get a bit, bit more, more. Yeah, that one. Four. Oh, James knows how to spoon. Concerned. Amazing finger work as well. Ooh. Okay. Spin, and then we wash our hands, and we're going to add the 
blueberries. So it says around eight blueberries per muffin. So I'm just hoping they got the exasperated look in my face in the mirror. <gasps> well, window. Ow, that's hot. Are we going to do a taste testing on video like we did last time? Yes, we'll do a taste test because hopefully it's not going to be catastrophically bad. I mean, if it is, we'll just do it again. <laughs> Take two. There's my beverage, Coke and whiskey. James is studying them without me. Wow. Like the stud he is. I want them to be some to be in the mixture as well. We could have put some in the bottom. We could have. Graham always wants to put. What was that? Well. <laughs> what were you saying, you rapscallion, you? I'm saying that you like putting things on the bottom of the muffins. I think we're gonna have too many. Eat this blueberry. <laughs> and a little bit of muffin mixture, but it's fair. Oh no. Oh no, it hasn't been in the fridge overnight. I'm gonna die. Yeah, it's unbelievable that I'm nearly gonna be 30. I think this is a testament to how far you've come. I've Still can't read. I feel like we've saved it. I just don't understand the, uh, I just don't understand the overnight thing. If you're a baker, please could you leave a comment so we can understand this more as a, as a, as a, as a, <laughs> as a theorem. Some no, of these also are too big. You're too big. It says stud. It doesn't say press them into the mixture. So, but I'm just pushing them in because I know that's what the muffin likes. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that funny? I know what the muffin likes. The muffin likes Have you me. spoken to the muffin? I've spoken to the muffin. Do you know the muffin, man? Do you know what it says? It says... Help me! <laughs> no. I have been improperly made! It says you're a little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the little bitch. It says the 30 year old that can't read. <laughs> I can read. I saw that it said sugar. Although, to be fair, I then missed the fact that it said slowly add the eggs. But... Still, I was cracking eggs and taking names, and I was just like... <laughs> I was cracking eggs and taking names. I don't see you doing anything. I was cracking it with... I was cracking eggs. way more blueberries than, like, than eight. Like, eight per... It says stud. Maybe it's so you can have some while you wallow in the pity of wondering where you went wrong. In life. <laughs> Paul Hollywood seems like the type of man who'd make a recipe to make you question everything. Fall in love with him. He does have really piercing blue eyes. He just stare at you until you came. Whoa, what? <laughs> Baking the oven for 20 minutes or until golden on top. Yeah, he's not precise. He's like around eight. He around 20 minutes. Or if it's golden brown. Like what what I I, I say they're ready. Brown. I say they're ready. There's nothing more you can do. We'll just sit there and eat blueberries. Any more blueberries? No, there's nothing. There's no more. Here. You can have a blueberry. Uh -huh. yeah, a little bit of mixture off my hands. And then uh, we're going to whack these in for 20 minutes. And then we will see you guys on the flip-flop. For the tasting. For the removal and the tasting. Alright, you ready Graham? Maybe.
it's just gone past 55, so we're looking at just past 15. Well, I just passed, I just past quarter past, I'm saying. Ready? Ready. Bye bye, blueberries, blue muffins. Right. Ooh, delicious. So, we'll be back we'll in 20 see. minutes or thereabouts. Blueberry. I got my own. That one wasn't sweet at all. The little ones are really crap. <laughs> Hello. It's muffin time. <laughs> it's muffin time. Muffin time. Muffin time. Muffin time. I think they've turned out delightful. Prime butter shop. <laughs> Mrs. Wilson does not approve. No, I don't. What is going? Oh. oh, they look nice and brown. Oh, look at that. How come they've only got a four? Oh. In muffin dance, muffin dance. Don't drop it. Do the muffin dance. No, muffin nothing, dance, muffin dance. Do it. the. Mrs. Wilson is more worried about the muffins. Muffin dance. Than the, 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 the integrity dance. of the muffin dance. I don't want you to burn your muffins. <laughs> I don't know why I was doing that. <laughs> Oh, I see. Hang on. I suppose that's equality too. Yeah. What? what? Equality for me. Equality muffin dance. Muffin dance. Do muffin the muffin dance. dance. Do the muffin, muffin dance. dance. For a few minutes to cool before we put the deliciousness in the mouth. Do the muffin dance. Do the muffin dance. Do the muffin dance. Do the muffin dance. The ambiance. The ambiance. We call it the ambiance. I want you beside me. What well, when we get back? James is in here. James, Muffin come dance. in. Muffin come in again. Once. See, I've got do Miss Wilson do here. Do Hello, dance. Miss Wilson. We've got Jam here. He's a delightful lump. I think you should see all the muffins. We've got these. Zoom. Zoom. Oh, that Zoom. smells lovely. You're gonna put some icing sugar on in a bit. You wouldn't know that a horrifying series of events led to this. <laughs> they look Got a little take bit a picture of, for They look a bit grotesque. <laughs> Tweeting. Yeah, but sometimes the, the worse yeah, it looks, the taster it is. Got to tweet out. Are you going to put some icing sugar on? I was tempted to put icing sugar good. on them. But I'm not sure if that's a standard thing. I don't do. think we should. I think they look delightful enough. Yeah, yeah they look delicious. What you could have done was Although this one looks like someone on left a skid mark on it. No, that's one of the worst. <laughs> <laughs> so rude. <laughs> no. Why is it in his recipe the blueberries stayed perfectly blueberry like? These ours have gone. I don't know because they were bigger ones in the first place. Maybe because they were chilled. So in... they had quite a lot of water. Some of them were already soggy. Well, and that's interesting. Tweet in now, tweet it and tweet in now. I suppose water is more of a conductor, so maybe they because they were moist. Did you just say, like, yes. are you saying that we should be converting to a blueberry water no. conducting society? What you're saying is you should have put it in the it's place. an easy transfer of electricity via the blueberry muffin electrolysis process. The blueberry muffin electrolysis process is... <laughs> Sounds like you've had some alcohol there. I have had some alcohol. And Jam has had some alcohol in the meantime because he um, had to drink to forget all the horrible kitchen, mistakes he made. All I can say is, you may have put them in, if you put them in the fridge, it might have meant that they didn't explode quite the same. But it doesn't matter because they're going to go to your mouth and explode anyway. Yes. There's one way to look at it, I guess. Yes. Muffin time. It's a muffin Imperfection time. turns to perfection in your mouth. Imperfection turns to perfection in your mood. I don't think that's ever been said by a professional baker ever. Doesn't matter. I don't think any. I don't think baker. any baker goes. Yeah, you fucked it up, but it might still taste good. <laughs> no, we wouldn't say that with a rude word either. You cocked it up, but it still might taste good. No, we're not well putting then. chicken in it. What? Oh, you Cock. cocked it up, yeah. I get it. But do we, we don't eat the cocks. Oh, no, we don't eat the stuff. No, we don't 
Sure, <laughs> surely the ones that we do eat. Do, are, are, dance to change we, the do we eat? This is the question. Dance to change dance. the subject. Yes, we should, cause then James won't talk about penis. Na 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 na. If I could drone out James's talk. Shall, shall I take them out so they cool down faster? Hot. What you could do is get a cooling lamp and put it on top of the cooling lamp. But then they then the, 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 the won't you tip? No tip. No tip. Come come. No 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 no. Come out of the room. No. This guy doing all of our hard work. <laughs> She's going to cook it up. I'm not going to cook it up. Oh no. No. What she do? Uh, she get the toy. A magical, magical toy. No, 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 no. <laughs> First person. <laughs> Yeah, like why wouldn't you just stop? Stop! Stop! It's nice to wash your hands. I've washed my hands. We've been baking. Well, I haven't, so I'm washing my hands, and I'm going to burn myself instead. Right, who else? The only dirty things <laughs> I've handled are the dirty, dank memes. <laughs> None of them should be dirty. Dirty, dank. You have to do it quickly, otherwise it's just. You've got to do it quickly because it's hot. You have to what a surprising them. thought. They're not actually that hot now. They are inside, but. They're not actually that hot, but they are inside, like me. As hot as you, James, and this is hot as you. The egg on the posterior. And Graham's just as hot as me. They're like, huh. I'm a spicy boy. It's like, ha, 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 ha. Oh, spicy, yes, because it's not making me. I'm a spicy boy. I'm a spicy boy. I'm a spicy boy. I'm a spicy boy. Get into the away. Have fun, just make sure you leave me some. Way, yeah. Pima, Jet. Pima, Jet. Pimo jelly and a muffin wreck. Second time Pimo that's been in. Pimo jelly, Pimo jelly and a muffin wreck. Pimo jelly, Pimo jelly, Pimo jelly and a muffin wreck. Pimo jelly, Pimo jelly, Pimo jelly and a muffin wreck. We should cut. We so. Taste test. I'm going to be trying this shit now. <laughs> I'm going to be having a These whole... raw eggs. See, I think that I did an amazing job. I think. You should shut your goddamn mouth. Hmm. I'm trying to find. It's still warm at the moment. Uh, you're not getting away with this. You know that, don't you? How can you be eating while we brought out even the trace of them? I'm sorry. Can I just pick? Mm-hmm. Can I have the biggest one? With what? Whatever you want, though. You deserve the biggest one. Is that the biggest for some reason? No, I'm just saying you deserve it. Treat yourself. I don't mind which one. Shall I have the I know which one I'm gonna have? I'm gonna have the skid mark one. <coughs> and you've killed James. Congratulations. <laughs> Can I just say they are extremely airy. Mm. Very airy leery. Mmm. They are. They're very light. Do you know why? Do you adapt to the method? They are really nice. Mm. Not much blueberry flavour. Really? Mm. I'm tasting nutmeg. Yeah, you can taste the nutmeg, but that's because I put a little bit more nutmeg. That's good. They are very nice. I like those. They're very like, but they're quite similar to like a cupcake mm. dough. Yeah, you're right, they're very light. Spongy. Oh, you've had the bigger one. I'm having another one. Oh, I just one, it's even better. Mm. I don't know if you should be saying that. They call it skin They're really nice. I'm genuinely confused. Oh. Is the reason they go in the fridge to make them more dense? But why would you when these are delightful? I just feel like it wouldn't raise as much. 
Because if you take them out of the fridge no. and then straight in the oven, they're going to take longer to no, cook as there's well. Some, there's some cookie dough you put in the fridge. I think they're a delight. Mm. But I don't understand the process. Very nice. Use that recipe again. I just don't understand the process. Why? Why do you? Why well, do you put it in the fridge? I don't know that. Because you Google everything anyway. Okay. <laughs> I'll have to look it up. I might include a description under the uh, under the video. Don't eat any more now. Take time to work. Take some to work. I need to work and say, this is what I made. This is what I do, and that's better. You can't have any of these because I made them. Hmm. Yeah, I'm mine. Hmm. Right. I think we will see you the next one. Next time. To the pit. To the pit.